Anything, though, can this committee come up with that would change these minds we're seeing right now? And that's the problem. We're very focused on January 6th. Again, I am all for every prosecution that's going on. There's 700 indictments out there. That is good. But when I look forward to 2024, I'm deeply concerned by these numbers because what it says to me is that people on both sides are not ready to accept the results of the next election. Both sides? I absolutely think that is the case. Yes, both sides. As I have often been forced to point out in my adult life, every single single election the Democrats have lost, they claim was stolen and illegitimate. In the year 2000, after George W. Bush won, Democrats refused to accept it and rioted at his inauguration. Not only did tens of thousands of Democrats riot at Bush's inauguration, but they actually attacked his motorcade to the point they had to shut down the inaugural parade. I'm going to be referencing this clip a lot, but it's copywritten, so I can't put it in this video. However, you can see it if you head over to my Getter page and give me a follow. You've probably never even heard about this, but Democrats actually fought to keep the election from being certified. Check out this New York Times article. Over some objections, Congress certifies electoral vote. Congressional certification of the electoral college vote is usually quick and routine, but nothing has been ordinary about the November election that will result in Mr. Bush being sworn in this month as the first president since Benjamin Harrison in 1888 to win the electoral college but lose the popular vote. So you can see right off the bat, the mainstream media was casting aspersions on Bush's election, suggesting that it was somehow illegitimate. Today, for nearly 20 minutes in the cavernous House chamber, a dozen members of the Congressional Black Caucus, joined by a few sympathizers, tried in vain to block the counting of Florida's 25 electoral votes, protesting that black voters had been disenfranchised. Florida's highly contested electoral votes were crucial in Mr. Bush's victory after a prolonged legal and political battle following an inconclusive election. And this last part really puts the cherry on the shit Sunday. Black lawmakers defiantly declared at a news conference outside the House chamber that they did not consider Mr. Bush the legitimate president. Wait a minute, where's all the talk about attacks on democracy? Oh, but as we all know, it's different when Democrats do it. And as this reporter is about to point out, and as you probably all remember because it was only four years ago, the Democrats rioted at Trump's inauguration as well. You look back at 2017, look at the ABC poll and whether Trump was legitimately elected. It was about six to eight points off of this one right now, not that far off. Hillary Clinton asked in 2017, was Trump legitimately elected, point blank? She did not say yes. She said she had questions. You think Democrats, if Donald Trump runs again, runs again if Donald Trump wins in 2024, you think Democrats are going to think he was legitimately elected? You got to be kidding me. There's no precedent for that. <laughs> No precedent, she says. 57% of adults age 18 to 30 saw Trump's presidency as illegitimate. Gee, I wonder where they would get that idea. Could it possibly be from the Democrats and their state media mouthpieces? And it doesn't take a psychic to know that if Democrats lose in 2024, they'll claim the election was illegitimate and that Trump stole it. And in their heads, they'll rationalize it because of all these years prior that they've been claiming that the election of Donald Trump is the end of democracy. You see how they set things up so that it's all always different when they do it. You could almost call it pathological. I mean, just look at this Washington Post headline. Voters have seen past presidents as illegitimate. This time it's different. As this reporter pointed out, when Hillary Clinton was asked about Trump being legitimate, she said no, but she wasn't alone in that. Hilariously, Democrat propagandist Paul Krugman actually wrote an article yesterday where he also claimed that no, Democrats have never said that Donald Trump was illegitimate. However, in reality, in an article that was written by Paul Krugman himself, he quotes Democrat John Lewis as saying that he would not attend the inauguration of Donald Trump, whom he regards as an illegitimate president. And just to wrap this all up in a nice little bow to show that Democrats always call elections they lose illegitimate. Back in 2000, the majority of black Americans felt that Bush stole the election, along with most Democrats who either thought Bush stole the election or somehow won on a technicality, essentially saying that he's an illegitimate president. And like I've pointed out before, many members of the media referred to the Bush administration for the full eight years as the Bush regime, implying that he was occupying the White House illegitimately. There's no precedent for that. I mean, this is purely in the Republican camp. The reality is, is even the polls suggest that the Democrats agree that this was not about democracy. This is about ruining democracy, not protecting it. 25% of Democrats said violence was acceptable in that poll. In 2017, 
a third of Hillary Clinton voters said Donald Trump was not legitimately elected. They didn't, and you're they saying didn't this take is the same kind of actions that we exactly. saw. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> and there we go. The former Clinton administration stooge, George Stephanopoulos, chimes in to let us all know that it's different when Democrats do it. How is it different when tens of thousands of Democrats riot at Bush's inauguration and even attack his motorcade and what even Michael Moore described as, quote, an attempt to take back what had been taken from them, meaning the election. Again, if you want to see that video footage, you're going to have to head over to my Getter page and give me a follow. They didn't this take the same kind of actions that we exactly. saw. Exactly. Absolutely. No that is the escalation. And if you don't think that's going to happen in 2024 and that we need to be focused on that, if we need to be sides... focused on today because this was a year ago and there still has been very little action for the folks who were the masterminds, facilitators of this. All right. I got to stop here real quick and correct our misinformation since it's different when Democrats do it. The FBI has already stated that anything that happened on January 6th was coordinated or planned, which isn't hard to see. Out of tens of thousands of people that were there marching peacefully, just like Trump instructed them to do, a handful of people fought with riot police and then most were peacefully let in, walked around like they were on a tour and stayed within the velvet ropes. As Joe Biden pointed out, it doesn't matter if you have your AR-15 against the corrupt government because the government has nukes and F-16s. You're telling me that a handful of unarmed people were going to somehow take over the country? You can't move forward without accountability. And this commission and the Department of Justice and anybody else with authority needs to send a clear message to anybody who's looking at this and thinks there are trials okay. going on. Okay. So the point that this reporter is making about escalation is a good one. And it's hilarious to me that it's not penetrating into the heads of these Democrats because their whole job is to pretend like these things never happened. But let's just go down the line. So we have George W. Bush wins. They claim it was stolen, claim it's illegitimate, and they riot at the inauguration. Then he wins again in 2004, and guess what? They claimed the same thing again. They claimed it was stolen, and they rioted. Then Obama wins, and while you might have had a small group of people saying it was illegitimate, the vast majority of Americans accepted the election. And there was no violence at his inauguration. Then Trump wins, and we get what? More violence at Trump's inauguration as Democrats riot. Which, you might remember, then resulted in those women's marches where Madonna called for the White House to be blown up. That sounds like an incitement to violence, but I know it's different when they do it. Then we get to Biden and for the first time Republicans rioted after an election that they lost and claimed it was stolen. So it's more than a little strange to see this propaganda effort to turn this thing into way more than it actually was. Especially since Democrats nor their media have ever been held accountable for violence carried out by their supporters. Alright folks I'm about to have an aneurysm so I better stop here but if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button then leave me a comment to let me know what you think.